Hi and welcome to a new video. With Apple's advanced chips built into the AirPods, nearby iOS devices are able to seamlessly recognize each other and establish an automatic pairing. But what if the pop-up menu fails to automatically display on your iPhone as expected? In this video, I will recommend several solutions that can possibly fix this AirPods issue on your device. Let's go! When the pop-up menu is not showing up, the problem is usually either with your iPhone or with the AirPods themselves. To simplify the troubleshooting process, let's start by eliminating potential problems with your AirPods. Sometimes, low battery power can cause your device to malfunction unexpectedly. In this case, the first practical solution is to charge your AirPods. But before you plug in your device, see to it that the charging capacity performs well too. To ensure that your AirPods case charges properly, keep the charging port clean and free of any dirt or dust that could clog it. You can use a dry brush, but personally, I prefer to use a toothpick to remove any debris easily. After cleaning the ports, connect your AirPods to ensure they have enough battery power to work properly. To charge your AirPods, use an original or an MFI certified cable and connect it to a power source. You can also use a wireless charging mat if you have one. In case you experience charging issues, try a different lightning cable to see if that solves the problem. While charging, keep an eye on the LED light on the front of the AirPods case. An amber light indicates it's charging while a green light means that it's fully charged. To preserve your AirPods battery, keep them inside the case when not in use. Refreshing your device's Bluetooth connection can also help resolve any connectivity issues. Open the control center, disable Bluetooth, and reactivate it after a few seconds. Keep your AirPods close to your iPhone to see if the pop-up menu appears. If nothing works so far, try restarting your iPhone instead. Usually, if you are experiencing glitches or errors with your iPhone, the common solution is to perform a force restart. Keep in mind, though, that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone X, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then, press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. Usually with connectivity problems, it is best to perform a reset of your AirPods to fix any glitches. For persistent software-related issues with your AirPods, resetting them is often the most effective solution. To get started, place your AirPods in their charging case and close the lid for at least 30 seconds. If your AirPods are still paired to your iPhone, follow these steps to unpair them. Open the lid again and remove your AirPods from their case. Next, open Settings on your iPhone and go to Bluetooth. Tap the Info button next to it and click Forget this device to confirm the process. When your AirPods are disconnected from your iPhone, place them back in their charging case and keep the lid open. Then, press and hold the button on the back of the case for 15 seconds until the status light flashes from white to amber or red. After that, reconnect your AirPods to your iOS device. While your AirPods are still in their charging case, keep the lid open and hold them close to your iPhone or iPad. Then, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the pairing process. Please note that newer models, starting with AirPods 3 and Pro, can't be paired with a different Apple ID if they're still connected to another account they were originally paired with. 
To remove the iCloud lock, open Find My on your iPhone to unpair the AirPods from your previous Apple ID. In the Devices tab, select your AirPods from the list. Then tap the Remove this device button and enter your Apple ID password to unlink the AirPods from your account. If you've tried all the various methods before without success, the AirPods issue is most likely hardware related, and your AirPods probably need to be replaced. Personally, I've encountered the same problem as well. For hardware related concerns, the best approach is to contact Apple support. You can get in touch with them either by visiting the nearest Apple service center or contacting them directly through their website via chat or phone call. To get started, open any browser on your iPhone or computer and visit support.apple.com. Locate and click the Get Support button. For more personalized support, sign in with your Apple ID and follow the on-screen instructions to complete your request. Please note that AirPods are typically not easily repaired. However, if they're still under warranty, Apple should give you new ones free of charge. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!